Wine's cool. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you again for tuning in to Wine School 420. It's summertime. It's hot. We're all poor. But we still like wine. So I'm trying to do a series of like budget, um, affordable, attainable, but not terrible wine that can be found in the Los Angeles area. So this is pretty cool. I got this at Whole Foods. Is a known producer, Cirelli. Uh, the grape is Trebbiano d'Abruzzo. Now I know they grow Trebbiano also in Northern Italy. Um, I don't know if it's the exact same grape or not, but it's known for being kind of a fun, light, uh, thing and often there's like a tropical note to it that I find even though it's like a light sort of basic white wine um, along with the sort of like the fleshiness there's like a cleanliness to it so this should be complex it smells um really good there's like a lemon curd distinct minerality but also something um, deep about it there's a uh, almost like you know, okay, so 2018, I was actually in this part of the world. It was hot, like hot. July 2018, rolling down the coast. Anytime you stop at any of those beach towns and you are eating, it's light food. And this is what, not this particular bottle, but this is the kind of wine they're drinking. If you ask for a red wine, they look at you like you're crazy. They might even not even have it to offer. It's white wine, just like this or maybe a rosé or a beer. Um, so what makes this interesting and not just a throwaway bottle, A, is that it's organic and affordable and you can get it at Whole Foods in Venice, but there's a depth here. Something um, on the savory, funky, meaty side of things, it almost reminds me of this really pungent, uh, sort of brownish orangish color goat cheese that my mother used to get from Sweden. Um, it's this weird combination of like a, a, a sweet and like a deep funkiness as far as the aroma is concerned. Something very mature, overripe green grape. Really interesting smell, especially if you let it come to this kind of room temperature. Not room, but you know, not super chilly. This really blooms and opens up with, with a little air and with a little um, slightly higher temperature. Super clean palette. Nothing like mind-blowing, but um, really refreshing. There's acid, but it's really reined in. I guess that would be my complaint about this. For a while with this structure, it is lacking a little bit of, of, of mouthfeel. E either, I would either want more acid or a little bit more of a savory tannic uh, uh, grip. You know, it looks like there might be a little skin contact. Um, it kind of just is so easy drinking. It's a bit of an afterthought. So yes, hot summer, coastline, you're wearing a tank top and uh, shorts that ride up too high and maybe some cute little Adidas sneakers with no socks and uh, you were on the beach all day and you're sitting down for a late dinner of pasta with herbs and you're drinking this and you're not thinking about it. You're talking to your friends and you're stoked. There's nothing to dislike. So this is a thumbs up. Highly worth the $15 and change that they want for this at the Whole Foods in Venice. Um, yeah. Recommended. Stay cool out there. Bye. Wine school.